Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. A couple of years ago, Microsoft removed EPUB support in Edge, which I think was back in 2019. And I may have good news because uh, in Edge Canary version 117, which is the latest preview version of Edge, Microsoft now has reintroduced EPUB support in Edge Canary version 117. And at this stage, though, it's very early days, and this is not a default feature. And we can only at this stage enable EPUB support in Edge Canary version 117 using a command line flag. But before we do that, just a brief background in case you are unaware what EPUB is all about. An EPUB book is a digital book or ebook which can be read on a wide variety of digital devices, including tablets, smartphones, laptops, and dedicated e-readers. So that's just a brief background in case you're unaware what EPUB was all about. Now getting back to Edge Canary. So in the latest Canary Bolt, uh, you can follow the following steps to enable the EPUB reader. And as mentioned, we use a command line flag. And if you have been viewing this channel for some time, you may know that to do this, we have to right click on any shortcut of Edge Canary. And be that a shortcut in your start menu, on your desktop, or in my case, on my taskbar. So you right click on that shortcut, you click on properties, and then in the target field, you will see at the end of that field, there is .exe quotations. What you need to do after those quotations is leave a space, and if there's anything before that, just delete it. And after that space, you enter this command line flag which is quite a mouthful, so I'll leave it down below in the description for you to copy and paste for easy access and reference. So just remember after the .exe quotations, leave a space because um, this command line flag will not work if that space is not there. So once you've done that, you click on apply, you click on OK, and then you'll have to close and relaunch Edge Canary version 117 to apply that command line flag. And something uh, just to take note of, is if we head back now to our settings and we head over to our cookies and site permissions and we scroll down, yo, you'll see we have a setting for EPUB documents which was not there prior to enabling that command line flag. If you click on that, um, this will actually be, by the way, this will be off by default if you haven't run this flag uh, before. It says always download EPUB files. It says download EPUB files to your device. If this is disabled though, like it is by default, EPUB files will open automatically without downloading. So if you've got that toggled on, the EPUB files will be downloaded to your device. So just take note of that. And then once you've relaunched your browser, uh, you will then be able to use it to read EPUB files and EPUB books on and in the Microsoft Edge web browser. And at this stage, though, as mentioned, this is only hidden behind a command line flag. So it is very early days. So Microsoft hasn't announced this officially. And it doesn't. we don't know at this stage if this will actually get and make its way into the stable version. But obviously, um, I will keep my eye on this one. And if I do get any news or any more information if Microsoft does officially start testing this then obviously I will post you guys I post a video to let you guys know but just wanted to put it out there that um, Microsoft Edge can now be used to read ebooks in the EPUB format and that's in Edge Canary version 117 by enabling that command line flag and then obviously if you want to remove the feature you just, you just follow, follow the steps once again and then you will just delete that command line flag and then re click on apply click on OK and then just relaunch Edge 117. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.